Okay, hello, and welcome to the video about how to install this Pinnacle Studios Dazzle DVC 100 video capture device on your Windows PC without any of the original installation discs. And so you will probably want to know how to set it up with some free software and not have any of the problems that many people are having with these devices ranging from having no sound to having black and white while trying to record Xbox to having the audio and video not being able to sync up and having the video go slow motion or lagging a lot and so people don't understand that if they figured out how to set these things up correctly then they would know just how easy these things are to use I mean all you have to do is plug the USB into your computer Computer. and then on the front they have the audio video input that you can plug into whatever device you want to record from and you're good to go and all you need to do is figure out the secret of how to set this thing up correct and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video so if you find this video helpful then give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates when I have uh, new videos coming out but let's get started and I'm going to go and show you how to set this thing up if we go over here to sound video and game controllers you see that I have it set up here as dazzle DVC 100 audio device and I have it also set up as dazzle DVC 100 video device and that is how it is supposed to look when it's set up correctly I'm gonna uninstall everything and start from scratch and show you guys how to set everything up after I show you that it's working okay here's the stuff that I had recorded off the TV and it's coming through my VCR right now as you can see it's got sound it's coming in full color so as you can see it's set up it's working good and I'm gonna pause the video right now while I uninstall everything and I show you how to set all of this up from scratch but uh, I'll be right back so when you first get your Dazzle home and you get it plugged in it's not going to look like it did when I had it correctly installed it's going to look something like this let me plug my Dazzle in okay so there it is I've got it plugged in and you see now it says something different it says DVC 100 over here and under sound video and game controllers it says DVC 100 here that's because Windows installs the wrong drivers so first you need to uninstall these incorrect drivers so you right click on it go down here to properties and click on driver up here and then go down here to uninstall device and click uninstall and you need to do that for every instance of DVC 100 that you can find alright now you may get a message to restart your computer and you may not but once those devices are uninstalled what you want to do is unplug your Dazzle and make sure you keep it unplugged for the next part. So I'm going to go ahead and um, unplug my Dazzle now. Once you have your Dazzle unplugged, then the next step that you want to do is go to the internet and go to this website. I will put this address in the description that's the website right there but anyway you go down here to the dazzle drivers and you see right here where it says dazzle DVC 100 DVD recorder and um, you can pick 32-bit uh, or you can pick 64-bit uh, and then you can um, you can click on run and then install those drivers and this is the first step that you want to take care of is getting those drivers installed I'm gonna go ahead and pause while I'm 
uh, installing these drivers and then we'll come back now if we go look at our device manager it should show up correctly whenever we plug in our dazzle now remember we kept our dazzle unplugged while we were installing the drivers it's important that you do that or else it might not install correctly so now that we plug in our dazzle and we see that it shows up correctly like it's supposed to it shows up as dazzle dvc 100 audio device and dazzle dvc 100 video device just as it's supposed to do so now we're going to move on to the next step which is to go to this web page here and download the Amarec TV program there's the website right there I'll put a link to this website in the description this website here has the most recent version but uh, another thing that you need to pay attention to is that this requires the AMV video codec and we're also going to be installing another codec to make this work but all you need to pay attention to right now is downloading the Amarec TV 3.10 program and this program is a program that you don't have to install it runs from a folder it's like a portable program and so you just click on download and then just click on save and save it to wherever you want to and I've already done that and I'm going to show you what that looks like so I have it in this folder here and that is this program right here I mean this file right here Amarec TV 310 zip and then you just unzip that to a folder and my folder is right here and when you open the folder the program is right here anyway you just double click this to run the program but if you remember it said that it requires the AMV video codec so now that we have the program we need to get those codecs so the next step is to get all of our codecs we're gonna need about uh, three different three or four different codecs so the codec you find on the Amaret page that's this website right here and the codec that you're gonna need for that version is this one right here AMV4 codec so go down here where it says more detail and download click on that so anyway you go down here to where it says download and you go ahead and download the codec and save the file it's a zip file you're gonna to have to unzip it but just save it for now because we need to get some other codecs so go back and then go down here to the AMV2 and AMV3 codecs and click on more detail and download and then go down to where it says download and get those codecs as well they are also in a zip file so go ahead and save that zip file as well and then once you have those codec go to this last website and this is the most important one because this is the one that's going to help us to run the program for free without any watermark or anything like that and get this Lagerith lossless video codec and here's the website right here I'll leave a link in the description for this website as well and go down here to Lagerith Installer and then on this one you can just click run and just run the program but just install that codec once you have those other codecs downloaded what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unzip them into their own folders and then when you go to those folders here's the first codec you'll see there's setup files that come with them if you have a 32-bit run that setup file if you have 64-bit run that setup file that's for the uh, AMV4 codec and then for the AMV2 and 3 codecs setup program here okay great once you have those codecs installed then you can go in to Amarec so you go into your Amarec and click on this up here be your settings and the first thing that you want to set up is your devices click on dazzle DVC 100 for video and dazzle DVC 100 for audio now listen when your when your video first comes in it might not look exactly right and uh, 
your screen might be uh, dark or it might be bluish or something like that in order to fix that you click on device settings and set your video standard to NTSCM and then go to video proc amp click on default and set all the settings to default and then click OK and that'll fix that okay make sure uh, you're set to composite and then also make sure that you're set to 29.97 frames per second at 720 by 480 okay the next graph that you want to look at the next tab rather is your aspect ratio make sure it's set at 4.3 make sure deal interlacing is auto select function you can put it at for role playing if it doesn't um, work good try for action or for retro but the default for role playing should work these other settings leave them at the default the presets you can ignore for recording you need to make sure with this version that your frame rate is set at 999 you need to keep that at that <clears throat> it's very important okay for your codecs if you record with the AMV4 video codec you're gonna get the watermark and not only are you gonna get the watermark but it's not gonna be able to be uploaded to YouTube and it's not gonna be able to be played by VLC so what you want to do is you want to go to other codec and then you want to go to update codec list and you want to choose that Lagerith codec that we downloaded earlier and make sure that that is the codec that you use screenshot hotkey both can be left at defaults under advanced you can also leave all these settings at the defaults click apply click OK and um, I'm gonna pause it while I set it up to pipe uh, the signal through again so I can show you that it works promoting this radical okay Tesla there it is offer to work for coming Edison through America, the dazzle where he said about you got um, sound it you got color that his divergence of Edison over began. This but the war of the currents I am going to stop the signal though uh, and show you a couple more settings that you're going to need to know about. How to fix the settings if you are recording from your Xbox or your PlayStation 2 and you are getting a black and white image and you want to get color. So you go to graph one device tab and then over here go to device settings click on your video decoder tab and then right here where it says video standard click on that scroll down to Ccam B and click on that you can probably use any of the Ccams but start with Ccam B and then click on apply and click on OK and that should solve your black and white issues that you need to move to color and that's that's Amarek except for a couple things that are important that I forgot to mention your program folders your folder for your 3.10 and your program for your 2.31 both versions do not put them in any of your program files folders I actually keep them in them in my Windows C Drive you can see I have them here and here but do not put them in your program files your program files x86 or your program data uh, folders do not put them in any of them folders you can put them in any other folder that you want but do not put them in any of those folders it's important that you uh, remember that because they don't don't function very well in those folders so uh, now that we got that out of the way I also wanted to show you where to get that version 2.31 I didn't show you that back here on this page where we got the codecs 
the AM4 codec and the AM2 and 3 codec, uh, which is this page here, the Amarec web page. The actual program for the 2.31 version is here, and it's this uh, Amarec TV Live with Amamix, and uh, you click on more detail and download to get the 2.31 version and then you scroll down here and you see right here it's version 2.31 and then you click on download so you can try both versions of Amarec and see which one works the best for you I want to show you was this Amarec configuration this website here and I'll leave a link in the description for this one is a complete Amarec TV configuration guide and uh, it goes through all of the configurations for both versions the next program that I'm going to show you how to use with Dazzle is OBS and we'll go through that really quickly I know it took a while to run you through this like I said it is um, open broadcast software which is a uh, OBS studio here's the link and I'll leave that link in the description so open it up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to this little plus sign right here and add a new scene so you click on that to add a new scene and then go up here to where it says video capture device and click on that and then when that comes up you're going to click on OK and then when you do that a window like this is going to come up and what you're going to want to do is choose your device and the device you're going to want to choose for video is Dazzle DVC 100 video and then keep all these other settings here at the defaults until you get down to right here where it says um, audio output mode and it is gonna say capture audio only but you're gonna wanna switch that and change it to output desktop audio direct sound and then make sure that this box here use custom audio device make sure you check mark that box the box underneath will appear and when that box audio device appears click on that and choose Dazzle DVC 100 audio device once you have all that set up you need to configure your video so you go up here you click on this one right here configure video and I have a VCR so I have mine set to VCR input uh, you should have this set to NTC or NTSC underscore M then on video proc amp you may be getting your video coming in um, kind of bluish or kind of dark if it is on this setting here click on default and it'll fix that and then click apply and then click okay on those settings you should be getting video in if you're not then I'll show you how to fix that in a second if you're still not getting any video or any sound I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pipe in my signal I'm gonna pause the video so I can do that and then uh, we'll go from there to show you how to get sound okay um, I got my video signal coming in but I don't have any sound so the way that you fix that is you go to this setting right here configure crossbar and on that setting go to this output and click on audio decoder out and then go over here to where it says input and click on audio line in and then if you're not getting any video coming in click on link related streams and then click on apply and your video and your sound should come in the there you go I don't know if you can hear that but I've got sound coming in you should be able to hear it 
And so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and start this recording. Actually, before I start recording, I want to show you. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see this window here. You may have to resize it. Um, mine was a lot smaller. And you can, you can move this around. But this is the best that I could get it on mine. So this is where I had it. But anyway... I'm going to start recording. And I'll just talk a little bit so you can hear that I'm on the recording. You can turn the mic off right here. <clears throat> just click on that and it turns the mic off. And there the mic is on. So uh, that turns the mic on and off. If you want that on or off while you're recording. So I'm going to stop the recording. And I'm going to go ahead and close OBS. And then I'm going to open up my videos folder. And it should be right here. Here it is. Just so you can see that it, it did work and it did record and everything. So there's the file playing. And I'll just talk a little bit so you can hear that I'm on the recording. You can turn the mic off right here. <clears throat> Just click. Anyway, you get the idea. You see that that is working. Um, I'm going to delete that. Also, on your OBS, if you are recording with your Xbox or your PlayStation 2 and you want to get color you're getting black and white but you want to get color then what you can do is go to your properties and click on configure video and on your video decoder tab right here where it says video choose this one right here ccam b and you can probably choose any of the C cams, and they will probably work. But start with C cam B, and see if that doesn't solve your black and white color issues. And then click on Apply, and then click OK. So that's it. That's as easy as it gets for setting it up for OBS software. If this video was helpful to you, then uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to get um, updated when I come out with new videos. I don't come out with new videos very often, but if you subscribe, you should be able to get updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.